The world, the Avira, is warm with thick flowering red fields, red berry bushes, and forests of red berry trees. Some of the berries grow into the size of boulders, with leaves the size of wagons. They are guarded by red dryads who watch over the plants and can secrete a red sap from their skin that tastes like honey. They are responsible for seeding much of the world and consider the berry bushes their children, shooing the Federation away from their lands and forcing them to mine in the more remote areas of the planet. A series of tunnels run the length of the world. They are old, abandoned, and mysterious, made from metal or brick, with many passages collapsing or rusting over the eons. Some of the tunnels open into large chambers of machinery, rusted gears, and old pipes. While the technology is similar to the Federation, they are ancient and believed to be built by an older race that once occupied the region though few markings of who they were remain. Merchants hire out adventurers to explore the tunnels and shift through the ruins seeking anything useful in the depths below. While few return with anything of note, some bring back weapons and items from what appears to be various periods of history. From primitive bronze swords to strange apparatuses that seem even beyond dwarven engineering, it suggests the race that once did live in the tunnels must have been studying and collecting things from all ages, making the tunnels one massive museum or time vault. But the biggest mystery is the clockwork automatons that still roam the halls. Likely ancient workers created by the old inhabitants, they stand one to two feet tall made of gears and bronze and have tiny energy cells made up of the elements. They are non-hostile and often help travelers, though have been known to send out jolts of lightning if someone gets too nosy or aggressive. They build tiny towns known as tin towns in the tunnels and clean up the mess and debris trying to repair the damage and restore the ancient machinery, though little progress has been made. They claim they must make the tunnels ready for when their masters return, but never explain who their masters are or where they went. They can be seen building more of their own kind, but lack the sentience the oldest ones seem to possess, behaving more like golems than living beings, further suggesting someone far smarter created them. While the Federation does not build in the tunnels out of respect to the automatons, hatchways can be found throughout the streets leading below. But the most famous tunnels are run by adventuring guilds often charging a fee to enter and explore the greatest depths still awaiting to be discovered. For more information on old tunnels, please refer to the works The Ancient Underground of the Known Galaxy and the hidden secrets of the first age.